All right, it brings up Roberts here. We're going to take a pitch here with Roberts. Just let one travel in. Watch it all the way. It's a strike. Of course it is. Uh, this guy might be pretty good with Rivera. That was pretty close to being a strike. Rivera's cutter here moves kind of a lot. And I feel like he uses it pretty consistently. Does it? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another debut video. Today, we have a banger. Brian Roberts' debut. Better late than never. Look, I'm aware it's late. It's late in the program. Freaking the next one comes out tomorrow, which, if you're excited for that, hit subscribe. We're going to break it all down for you guys. I'll let you know what I think of the new bosses. Joe Torre, Ellsbury, inevitably. Felix Hernandez. This may or may not be announced by the time I'm recording this, but it's, I'm saying it before it's been officially announced. They've announced Tori. I'm telling you probably the other two. And this is probably the worst intro ever, but this is what we're doing. Brian Roberts, the debut guy today. Second base, obviously. Switch hit option. These are his stats. You guys have seen him. Um, really good speed guy. Really good fielding. Um, I would say he even fields above his fielding rating. I've yet to see him make an error, I believe. Um, really good fielder and honestly deceptive power. I think he's got five home runs for me at the time I am recording this. So really good. Honestly sneaky pop. So like and subscribe if you guys enjoy it. That's enough probably of me talking. Let's get into the Brian Roberts debut. All right, he's got Kluber on the mound. Acuna, Jones, Soto, Dietrich. I haven't seen Dietrich really used. Uh, cap for catcher. Good team, good team. We're playing at Coors, chat. Playing at Coors. Not a big fan, but maybe, just maybe, that means Brian Roberts will have a good day today. Maybe. I mean, that's a pitch we should probably hammer, but you know what? We're taking, we're being patient. Also, he's starting Kluber on not full rest. We'll see if that comes back to play any part of this game. But if we can work deep counts, he might have to pull Kluber early. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, because we're back on All-Star now for sure. Lost a couple of games today already. And uh, I hit Kluber pretty well on All-Star. We're going to try to get Roberts at least a couple of at-bats versus Kluber, though. We walk the first one, so here comes Brian Roberts. 311 average, as you guys can see. He hits for some power, apparently. I've hit some home runs with him. Uh, we're still a little antsy. We're out in front. I just get so antsy when I'm debuting a player. I'm just like, I want to hit the ball. Like, I want to swing with Roberts, obviously, but that's not the best thing always. Because a walk is as good as a hit in game but like I want to get hits with him you know so it's like it's a weird trade off Roberts in the left center speak of the devil that's going to be caught by Soto Kirilov that ball leaves it ship it and it leaves here it's high and deep and gone didn't even get to like expand on the high and deep part it's just gone. It left that quickly. Kirloff's amazing. Kirloff is a monster. I know that pitch is right down the middle and one that we should definitely be hitting for homers all the time. Uh, it just it hasn't happened recently. And Sandberg here is going to get a perfect, perfect hit. Yeah, again, man, I don't understand why people start Kluber on All-Star with low energy. It's just it, you're asking for disaster. All right, we're going to... Pitch Oswalt, and if it goes poorly early, we're gonna bring in Otani. But just based on that swing, it's gonna go okay. I mean, it's really early to talk. We've thrown one pitch, we've gotten an out. So the goal now 27 pitches, 27 outs. That's the goal. You can write it in a book, and we've already failed. So the, you unsubscribe. If I were you, I would unsubscribe. Try to sneak a fastball by him. This has never gone poorly for me. Yep, I mean, that's crushed. It's going to be a run. Honestly, we'll take it, though. We're going to put up runs in this game. We just got to hold him to less than we score. <laughs> that's why you guys subscribe. The, the baseball knowledge. Oh. We've seen like seven pitches so far. Let's uh, let's make it at least eight. 
Yeah, uh, we're gonna make it at least nine. We're not on anything right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pissed off at the hitter right now, and I'm I'm the hitter. I can't even imagine how upset this guy is. Throwing freaking half energy Kluber and not being able to finish me because he's throwing freaking half energy Kluber. I'm not on anything. Yeah, we eventually. <laughs> I'm deeply, I'm deeply sorry that I'm unable to hit. I really am, if you ever see this. But we're going to clear the pitcher spot, so that's good. Now, I know what you're asking yourself. How the heck does this guy ever win any games? And I'm going to level with you. I'm not sure either. But here I am. Hey, Reggie, you gonna put your glove out or we just we're not a fan of that. Also, this guy didn't capitalize the first two letters of his cap's name, like first and last name, and it's annoying me probably more than it should. You're gonna take your time, make a cap, level him all the way up to a 99, buy nice equipment so that he's a glitch and piss people off. Give him 99 arm strength, the best batting stance that you can think of. Why not capitalize is the first letter of his first name and last name? You spent all that time. You're just going to leave it lowercase? Like, ah, this guy's a knockoff Francis Chan, whatever the dude's name was. And I don't even know who Francis Chan is. Brandon Marsh a base hit. Also, I've just Googled who Francis Chan is. Christian Evangelical Speaker. So, fun fact. The more you know. This is hit the other way out toward left field. We're under it. Don't steal on anything against this catcher. That's what we've learned. Kirloff, gonna make him pay. Sends it into the gap. Kirloff remains a glitch. We're gonna send him home, because freaking why not? I don't even know where that throw is. More to first base than anywhere else. The catcher had to come all the way to first base to grab the ball, but it's 3-1 to one now. I mean, I legitimately have no idea where that throw is going. You could have zero accuracy and be more accurate than whoever threw that baseball. That was off by 90 feet. Easy. If he's trying to throw it home. Which the catcher fielded it, so I think that's what that's implying. Kluber looks like the most non-batter of all time hitting, by the way. I know, like American League pitcher, but... Like, my God, that dude looks like he's never held a bat. That's a hit. At least when I luck in... Oh, okay. Yo, sick. At least when I luck into hits, it's... I at least square it up. There's there's one. That's paint. Paint, Roy. That's amazing. That's going to be a base hit. I mean, I don't feel bad about that one at all since he just blooped a triple. So, we'll take it. Pudge in the center. We are just off of it. That's one of those. The, the ball's in the PCI, but also it's Pudge against 99 Kluber. So, like, it probably shouldn't be anything special. That's going to get down. Gallo's going to be scoring on this, I think. Again, don't know where this throw is going. That went off by considerably less, though. So, I guess he's getting better at the whole throwing the ball thing. Fairly important in baseball. Not sure if you guys are aware or have ever seen a baseball game. But throwing the ball, pretty important part of being a professional baseball player. Unless, of course, I guess you're Jared Saltalamacchia trying to throw the ball back to the pitcher, because I know that was a problem for a few years there with the Red Sox and Rangers, for sure. The dude just got the yips, could not throw the ball back to the mound. It was a bad experience for everybody, I will say. So right now we're playing well, but... This is certainly a team that he's got that can put up a lot of runs quickly. Uh, especially if he gets a leadoff triple. Marsh is going to throw it to third, though. And he's safe. No way. Leadoff triple is not a great way to start. That's what I'm saying, though. This guy's got a lineup here. Dietrich goes deep. One run game immediately. So he's still got to be careful. 
Uh, he's going to single up the middle. Would love for Soto to be out there. That would have honestly been ideal since uh, the throw beat him by like 20 feet. But why tag? Rushed. Is that leaving? It's not. Marsh, please catch it. He does. Let's go. Roberts, buddy, we got to do something productive. There it is. Base hit for Brian Roberts, the debut, man. Roberts, that's he's pretty good at that. He's pretty good at just poking it up the middle. But occasionally, he gets into one. I've already got five home runs with him. Now, not necessarily a big power threat. I'm not a guy that hits a lot of home runs, so I don't know if it's his swing or what. But I feel like Roberts hits the ball pretty well as Kirloff hits into a hard double play. Ryan Sandberg gets a hit. We're starting to be able to hit with Sandberg. Didi down the line. Now it's super frustrating we grounded it into a double play. Gallo's going to hit here. I don't know. It works for him there, though. We're late week on a cutter. All right, Roy, we're going to have to throw strikes. First two pitches of the inning, not close. We got to uh, kind of reel it in. And by reel it in, I don't mean just allow a sinker down the middle to be a triple. It's not what I meant. We're getting him to be in front of pitches. We just got to locate him. He's at, I don't know if what his timing was on that because it was straight up. Probably not great. Maybe he was right on it and just underneath it. I don't know. He was very late. Another just dog crap base hit. It's going to make it a one-run game. I mean, very late, very late, probably weak contact. Very late, okay, okay. Or just late, okay. I disagree that it was only late. But I guess we'll take the game's word for it, since it would know. That's going to be a flyout, though. Here comes Mariano Rivera. Be really nice of Dietrich to not take me yard here. That would actually be what I would most like. We're going to throw him a curve, because I like flirting with danger. It's 3-0 now. Do we pipe him a fastball? Mm. Okay, swing and 3 out. That's good to know for later, potentially. I trust Roy, though. If he squares it up, he squares it up. It's All-Star. We got to put up more than just four runs to win games consistently on All-Star anyway. You just, you have to. The fact that we've only allowed three runs is semi america all right, it brings up Roberts here. We're going to take a pitch here with Roberts. Just let one travel in. Watch it all the way. It's a strike. Of course it is. Uh, this guy might be pretty good with Rivera. That was pretty close to being a strike. Rivera's cutter here moves kind of a lot. And I feel like he uses it pretty consistently. Doesn't matter. Brian Roberts is going to go deep in his debut. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Just like every once in a while, Roberts gets into one. And it flies away. It goes so far. And that wasn't like a moonshot. Because I've, I've hit one like 430, 440 with Roberts. That was not it. But Brian Roberts overlooked. Don't overlook him. Chipper Jones is great. Don't overlook Brian Roberts, though. Now the problem is I'm so amped up. I'm ready to hit anything. That's just not how this game is programmed. Ryan Sandberg, 3 for 4 today? Brian Roberts isn't even having the best day of the second baseman on the team. I'm of the opinion to win in, like a game on All-Star consistently, you got to score. Unless you're a very above average pitcher, and if you are, let me know so you can give me like hitting instructions and I will pay you. Or, so you can give me pitching instructions and I will pay you. But unless you're freaking a god tier pitcher, you're going to have to put up six, seven, eight runs a game to win consistently. 
because All Star is just so luck based. Like anybody, this guy, I don't think this guy's very good at the game. He's fluked into three runs, so you're gonna have to score at least three at a game, I would say. But if not, what version of Patrick Corbin is this? It is a lefty to face a, a good portion of the lineup here is going to be lefties with Gallo, Pudge, then Jackson. And my two best pinch hitters are lefty options, so it is smart. Just did not expect Patrick Corbin out of the pen. Joey Gallo base hit to start the inning. I don't think this Corbin card is very good. Reggie, did he get it? It's over his head. It's off the wall. We probably want to score a run on this. He threw it to third for some godforsaken reason, and we're back safe at second. All right, we, we're safe. Let's go. Roy Oswalt's here. He's going to quick pitch us. Not going to matter because Roy Oswalt's a glitch. Reggie's got to come home. Roy Oswalt's got freaking 10 speed. He's safe. Let's go. We're up 7-3. to three. That's my magic number. If we could get to seven in this game, I was going to feel pretty good about winning it. And Roy Oswald puts us at seven. Yikes. Marsh down the line. That ball's fair. We'll take a little bit of just late good contact. Roy Oswald's slow as in... As, yeah, I don't even know what's slow, but he is as slow as that. As slow as a sloth who just took 20 pounds of marijuana. Possibly. Brian Roberts is three for five and two more RBIs. He get there. He does. Brian Roberts, man, three for five. We're up nine to three now. Roberts is what? Yeah, we lose connection with the opponent. You know what? That's fine. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Brian Roberts, three for five. Amazing effort there. Um, Chipper Jones, probably still the choice. Um, but Brian Roberts, man, don't sleep on Brian Roberts. If you see some, him in someone's lineup, don't just pipe him fastballs because he hits home runs, apparently, at a pretty good rate. Uh, he's got, what, 17 hits for me? Six of them are home runs. So the pretty good, pretty good second baseman there, Brian Roberts is. So like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. If you made it all the way through the video, comment Buffalo, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.